I'm going to try not to be before you too long. I just want to speak on uh, the three manifestation of demonology uh, because I find it quite interesting that people are quick to refer to someone as a demon or a devil without overstanding what a demon or devil is. And these are people that in most cases have never encountered a demon. They've never encountered a devil or they really don't have the discernment to be able to judge correctly between demon activity and that person's own ill desires. Now, I'm going to title this video, The Demon Factor. Now, but before I get started, I just want to thank all of my subscribers across my different platforms. I want to thank the new subscribers I have on my Fearless J1111 channel. It's interesting because YouTube just put a feature on there in the comment section where you're able to tell who subscribed to you and how long they've been subscribed. So for all of my new subscribers, I want to thank you. Whether we always agree or not, I thank you for following me. I thank you for subscribing to me. And I thank you for your feedbacks. As long as they're not personal attacks, I appreciate that because we're all here to learn. We're all here to receive information from each other. So I just want to take the time out to thank you guys um, for your undivided attention. If you're one that watches the videos from start to finish. And those of you who have not subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Whether we agree or whether we don't agree, I appreciate you. Also, on Periscope, if you have Periscope, I encourage you to follow me on Periscope because that's when I do live videos. I did a couple, but I'm going to start doing more live videos on Periscope. And I'm hoping that you would follow me on Periscope. So, but to get back to the topic, a factor. Now, when you look up factor, it's a circumstance, a fact, or influence that contributes to a result or outcome. But similar words that describe what a factor is would be element, component, ingredient, strand, and constituent. So when people, when you talk about a demonic factor, you, I look at demon factors as something that has demon energy to it. And there's not too many times you would ever hear me refer to anyone as a demon unless I detect some type of demonic activities. I don't usually tell people to their face up front because that is quite offensive. And I don't think a lot of people really understand how offensive that is for you to refer to someone as a demon when in reality, they're not a demon. See, even Yeshua himself was referred to as a devil. They called him the Prince of Beelzebub. But he wasn't. So, And you have to also be careful too because when you call something that's holy or something that's of the Most High a demon or devilish, that is blasphemy because now you're referring to the Holy Spirit of Yah, although you may not understand it. You refer to the Holy Spirit of Yah as something that's evil, that's something that's demonic or devilish. But I want to show you three manifestations of demonology or three forms of demonology in the Bible. Because you refer to someone as a devil don't necessarily mean that they are possessed with a devil, or that they are actually a demon. 
Because if you think back in the Bible, Jesus referred to the scribes and Pharisees as devils, but they were human beings. But I'm going to read from the book of John, the eighth chapter, the 44th and the 45th verse. And it reads as follows. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. Now, not only he's saying that they are of the fa of the devil and that the, the devil is their father, he's telling them the traits of demonic activity that they themselves manifest. He said, ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it so he just didn't tell them that you're a devil, but he told them why he felt that they were of their father, the devil. And then in the 45th verse, it says, and because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. So those that are of their father, the devil, they're not going to believe or accept the truth. They're going to reject it. And in most cases, in this day and time, they will begin to attack you personally. Now, here's another aspect of demonology. And this is taken from Matthew's, the fourth chapter, reading the third verse. And it reads as follows. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made of bread. Now, this verse is taken from the scripture where Jesus was being tempted by the devil after he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, and he was weak. He was weak in the body, but strong in spirit. So the Bible starts out saying when the tempter came to him, so he's actually dealing directly with demonic energy because there was no individual, no human person that was on the scene that said these things to him. These are things that in modern day times, they were saying that he hallucinated because he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. So 40 days and 40 nights, his body was depleted of natural energy, food or water. He was just going strictly on the spirit of Yah. So his body, his body was completely de de uh, depleted of energy. And so now he's dealing in the spirit realm, although he's in a natural body. Because he de denied the body, the food and the water that's needed. So all of his faculties could work properly. So now he's operating on spirit energy only. So he's now wrestling with spirit energy. He's dealing with the devil in spirit form. Direct contact with demon energy. Where the devil is speaking to him. And that happens to people every single day. And in this day and time, they call it schizophrenia. Uh, they call it uh, multiple personality disorder. They have all types of medical terms for it. And then they give you medication to silence that. That will shut your body down so that you really have no defense against it. So you're, in a sense, trapped in hell. Your body becomes hell on earth because the medication puts you in a state where you're not able to defend yourself, where all of your defenses are now down. And the, the demon energy now 
basically has a field day with you inside your body, inside your mind. So in today's term, it's referred to as schizophrenia. It's referred to as multiple personality disorder. And when you take those medications, those drugs, it puts you in a state of demonic prison. The last verse I want to read is taken from Mark's, the book of Mark, the fifth chapter, reading the ninth verse. And I'm, I'm going to close on this, and it reads as follows. And he asked him, what is thy name? And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. Now, he was referring to the man that was in the graveyard, that was crying, that was cutting himself with stone. He was possessed with multiple demons. He's the one that Jesus cast the demons, was able to tell the demons to go, and they ran down a steep hill into the water and drowned. This was a legion of demons that he was dealing with that actually occupied the body of a man. And usually when people are demonically possessed like that, they have supernatural strength and also ability. Now that may sound good to some people, but it's really not. It's really a curse. You're being damaged from within. But the demons that were occupying this, this, this human being on earth was able to speak back to Jesus through that man's mouth and was able to identify themselves. And that goes back to what I mentioned about uh, multiple personality disorders or schizophrenia or bipolarism, as they call it in this day and time. So this spirit was able to speak back to him from this man's body and say, to be able to identify themselves. And it says, my name is Legion. This is, I guess this is the chief demon, the one, the leadership demon, because he was speaking for the rest of them. He says, my name is Legion, for we are many. So he spoke of himself, he identified himself, and then he spoke on the other demons. Other demons weren't really even um, identified. But he says, my name is Legion, but we're, we're many. I'm not here by myself. And the Bible told him, uh, after the man begged, he went into the, the pigs. Well, actually ran into the pigs. And the pigs ran down a steep hill into the water and drowned. All right? Now, does that mean that's the end of the demons itself? No. The demons still exist. Because the demons are spirit form. All right? So when we talk about um, demon factor, I'm not always quick to refer to someone as a demon unless I detect demon energy within them. And again, most people that you hear that's always talking about demons and how they had demon dreams and demon this have never really experienced one. In many cases, it's all just a figment of their own imagination. So I'm going to end it right here and maybe I'll make another video going into more depths on this. So feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time. It's tight, but it's right.